Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another one of my bump dates. Today I am 36 weeks and 6 days today. Tomorrow I'm already going to be 37 weeks. So exciting. Um, just getting closer and closer to getting to see my baby. But let's go ahead and get started. As usual, I first start off with my app that I use. Tells me how baby's doing. Then I talk about my symptoms, cravings. And then I'll show you my belly bump. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Baby is as big as a papaya. Baby's getting closer and closer to being able to breathe on his or her own. Baby's skin is getting smooth and soft. And the gums are rigid. Baby's liver and kidney are in working order. Okay, so I did have a doctor's appointment today. But... It got canceled <laughs> until tomorrow so tomorrow they should be um, telling me how if I've died if I've dilated yet um, I'm nervous and excited to find out just cuz um, it's just it's just getting more and more like real like I'm almost done being pregnant baby's almost gonna be here especially since um, I was gonna talk about this about my sympt in my symptoms, but let me just go ahead and tell you the story of what happened. Um, I think it was four days ago. Um, I was getting really, really scared because I was already starting to have contractions, and I know it's normal to have contractions um, before your forty weeks, um, just to make sure to keep. Um, keep track of them you know just in case you're not going into labor but it was my contractions were super consist consistent um, there were literally like nine minutes apart for like a good hour and I was getting scared I was like oh no we need to go to the hospital um, I don't even have my hospital bag ready the, I don't have nothing ready I'm such a procrastinator guys I'm everything in the last minute but I was getting super super scared because I was like no I don't have anything ready no um I was like we need to rush to the hospital but I ended up waiting it out a little bit more and then my contraction stopped so that's been happening a lot today I've been having contractions um they're they're not as consistent like they come um and then they go i got them uh i got them like around three in the afternoon they were like a good 20 minutes it was a good 20 minutes apart and in one hour but it stopped so i'm just gonna wait and see what they told me at the doctor's appointment tomorrow um to see if i'm dilated i am scared and having her earlier than 40 weeks just because um I don't know I just want her to be healthy and I don't want to have her prematurely even though 37 weeks is already um full term but um I just want her to be healthy and having her before 40 weeks is what baby wants and if it's healthy for her then well I'll just go ahead and have her before 40 weeks <laughs> but let me go ahead and start with my symptoms. Like I mentioned, I have been having contractions. Um, so I just got to see what the doctor tells me tomorrow and see what happens. Um, besides me already having contractions, um, I have been getting more and more hungry. Like I eat and then probably like three hours later I get hungry again. <laughs> um, but I do try not to eat that much if I already had like a big meal. I'll just wait it out until um, it's another meal. Like I have like three meals a day in the morning. Uh, morning, lunch, and dinner. So if I know it's not time to have dinner but I'm really, really hungry, I'll go ahead and have a snack, have a fruit or something. Because I don't want to gain that much weight. Like I said, like I've mentioned before. Um, and I don't want baby to gain too much weight. But besides that, um, baby is moving a lot. Um, it's probably because she wants to get out already. <laughs> um, she doesn't have that much room in here. So she's just moving a lot. But besides that, still have heartburn. Still have swollen feet. 
still can't eat meat it grosses me out i just gotta eat chicken i ate meat like two days ago i only ate a little bit and it made me feel so sick and gross um i didn't throw it up or anything but my stomach was super upset it's like i wanted to throw it up but i i really couldn't throw it up even if i was trying to but it made my stomach sick it made me feel really really gross so uh, so i really shouldn't eat meat i still feel tired throughout the day but i don't take naps especially now i am in the nesting stage that most people talk about um trying to get everything ready for baby um still have a lot to do this is so stressful <laughs> not stressful but i want to get everything done before my baby gets here because i'm scared of having her before 40 weeks so if she decides to come earlier it's like i'm gonna have like a half room ready <laughs> so um i need to get things going i need to stop procrastinating and start doing everything now <laughs> but besides my symptoms my cravings have been it's been really weird not weird but um this past this this week um i've been craving a lot of ice and i'm not really much of an ice eater and i have been eating ice um since i've since this since the beginning of my pregnancy um and i used to never eat ice um i've never mentioned it before because i mean i drink it with my water and it's not something that i crave it's just something that i eat and i'm like it's really good but um now that's like all i want to do is eat ice it's just crazy like, let me show you my cup well it already kind of melted because i've been talking but it's kind of like all filled up with ice but besides craving ice um still craving strawberries i've been craving a lot of sweet things i've been craving junk food and that's a big no-no um i've been wanting like chips and like salty things now i still want sweet things today i was craving sweet things i want something sweet like a brownie or something i don't want to you know i'm almost done with, preg with my pregnancy i want to take advantage that i am pregnant and i'm like i'm craving this so i want to go get it but i can't go too crazy now especially with salt um that's what makes my feet so up a lot more and it gets worse <laughs> um and sweet things i don't want to i don't want baby to have like a sugar rush <sighs> like last time i was eating something really sweet i forgot what it was but baby got super hyper <laughs> she was moving and moving a lot so i need to be careful with my sweet and salty things but those are the things that i crave <laughs> um but besides that guys let me go ahead and show you my belly bump so this is my belly from the front is the side I do feel baby has dropped like I mentioned last time Ugh. this is actually a dress guys but don't it doesn't seem like a dress no more <laughs> have such a round belly that is it you guys i really hope you guys liked my video please like comment and subscribe and i will upload my baby my second baby shower video um because i did have two baby showers i am gonna upload that tomorrow i'm gonna upload it and thursday i'm gonna upload my baby shower haul so make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys don't have to miss out on those videos. <laughs> but I love you guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.